Hello, everybody, and happy Sunday. We love you, we miss you, and we hope that you and your families continue to be well. Welcome to a brand new lesson, and welcome to the month of February. Today, we are talking about the Lord's Prayer. We have our story, scripture, music, and a whole lot more, so let's get started. For music today, we are learning a song that we learned in our classroom in person uh, back when we were able to do that. Uh, but for those of you who have joined us on this YouTube journey, it's a very fun song. It's called The Lord's Prayer, and it's all of the words in the Lord's Prayer, and to, but it's to a beautiful tune. And it's super fun, super easy, and I think you're going to love it. So for the first line of the song is the first line of the prayer, which is Our Father Who Art in Heaven. And we're going to sing, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Can you sing that? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Awesome job. The next line is, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And we're going to sing, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, hallowed be thy name. Let's try that again. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, hallowed be thy name. One more time. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, hallowed be thy name. Let's try those two lines together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, hallowed be thy name. Great job. And now we sing. On the earth as it is in heaven. Can you sing that? On the earth as it is in heaven. One more time. On the earth as it is in heaven. Then we sing again. Hallowed be thy name. Awesome. And then we sing. Give us this day our daily bread. Can you sing that? Give us this day our daily bread. One more time. Give us this day our daily bread. Then we sing, Hallowed be thy name. One more time. Hallowed be thy name. So putting those two lines together, we sing, On the earth as it is in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread. Hallowed be thy name. Then we sing. And forgive us all our debts. Can you sing that? And forgive us all our debts. And forgive us all our debts. Hallowed be thy name. And then we sing. As we forgive our debtors. One more time. As we forgive our debtors, hallowed be thy name. So those two lines go, and forgive us all our debts, hallowed be thy name. As we forgive our debtors, hallowed be thy name. Then we sing. And lead us not into temptation. One more time. And lead us not into temptation. One more time. And lead us not into temptation. Hallowed be thy name. And then we sing. And deliver us from evil. So those two lines together go, And lead us not into temptation, Hallowed be thy name. And deliver us from evil, Hallowed be thy name. And then we sing, For thy the kingdom, power, and glory. Let's try it again. For thy the kingdom, power, and glory. One more time. For thy the kingdom, power, and glory. Hallowed be thy name. Then we 
and sing forever and ever and ever. Try it again. Forever and ever and ever. One more time. Alrighty, now let's try singing the whole song from the beginning. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, hallowed be thy name. On the earth as it is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread, hallowed be thy name, and forgive us all our debts, hallowed be thy name. As we forgive our debtors, hallowed be thy name, and lead us not into temptation. Hallowed be thy name, but deliver us from evil. Hallowed be thy name, for thine the kingdom, power, and glory. Hallowed be thy name, forever and ever and ever. Hallowed be thy name. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for singing with me. And now, on to our story. Alrighty, today we are reading from my very first Bible, and we're starting on page 216, where it says, A Prayer for Always. Jesus liked to pray to God. Sometimes he went into a room by himself and closed the door. There alone and quietly, he prayed to God. Sometimes he got up early and went for a walk in the hills. There, alone and quietly, he prayed to God. Teach us to pray, his friends asked him. Here is a prayer for always, said Jesus. Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy, may your kingdom come, may your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. I know what that means, said one of his friends. God is our kind Father. We want people to obey God so the whole world is good, is as good as heaven. Next, said Jesus, say this, give us the food we need. Oh, good. I don't like being hungry, said one. Food makes the body strong, said another. But we also need to give, we also need God to encourage us to make us strong inside. That made everyone think. Ask God this, said Jesus. Forgive us the wrongs we have done, as we forgive the wrongs that others have done to us. Do we always have to forgive everyone? asked the friend called Peter. I try, but some people go on doing bad things. You must forgive everyone over and over again, said Jesus. Then Jesus says this. Then, said Jesus, say this. Do not bring us to hard testing, but keep us safe from the evil one. Everyone looked a bit sad. Do hard things happen to people who got, who live as gods once? Someone asked. Jesus sighed and nodded. He knew that there were hard times ahead. But God is God forever and ever, another replied. And that made everyone glad. Now let's tune in to a special review of our story with Miss Gale. Hi everybody, it's Miss Gale. Um, as I promised, we have a new word that we are going to look at for the month of February. One month gone already this year. So, and our word for February is guide. 
kind of a strange looking word. Do we know what it means? Okay. Well, guide means to help somebody, but not to help them by doing it for them or doing something for them, but by helping someone by showing them how to do it for themselves. Okay, so, you know, we're not just gonna, if somebody needs something, um, let's say if somebody wants to learn to read a book, you know, it'd be really easy to pick up the book and just read it for them or read it to them and say, okay, there it is. But guide is kind of to teach, to teach someone how to read and then they can do it for themselves. Um, another example, let's say I'm playing the game and I'm now blindfolded, okay, and I can't see. And my goal is to get to the other side of the room. All right, now I could be really brave and I could just start walking, but y'all know that I'm a klutz, so the first thing I'm gonna do is walk into a wall or fall over a chair. Um, so I am going to ask one of my Sunday school friends to, um, you know, and they don't even have to take my hand and drag me across the room, but to tell me as I'm walking, you need to turn, you need, you need to move to your left. Um, watch out, there's a chair in front of you. And that is really more than, that is the guide, okay? So, let's see, this week's story um, is about Jesus. And again, he's traveling around the countryside. He's teaching people about God. And one day while they are doing this, um, one of the disciples says, Lord, could you teach us how to pray? All right, now, Jesus could just say, okay, you know, it's okay, I'll pray for you. But he didn't. The first thing he did was he gave them some guidelines. Okay, so obviously guidelines means um, some things that we need to do um, in order to pray properly. And he said, first of all, you know, when you pray, don't make a spectacle of yourself. Don't be all loud and noisy and, you know, so that you're saying, hey, everybody, look at me, I'm praying. Prayer is very private, and you do it quietly. I mean, sometimes we pray together in church, but again, we're doing it quietly and very much um, to show love for God. So we're not being all braggy and, you know, noisy. We're just quietly praying, okay? And the other thing he said is basically keep it simple. You don't have to pray for an hour. Sometimes just a few words to God will do. Um, so then he said, you know, here, I'm, I will give you a prayer. You know, not that you every time you pray you have to use this, but I will give you a prayer that will always be good, that will, will always be, um, it, it, you know, basically it'll, it'll cover all the bases. It'll cover the things that you need to remember to do when you pray. Now, we talked about this in Sunday school earlier, but the prayer start, we call it the Lord's Prayer, okay? Obviously, Jesus is our Lord, so it's the Lord's Prayer. And it starts, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay? We want to start off by telling God, you know, it's kind of like, hi God, um, but it's very, but much more respectfully than hi God. You're acknowledging the fact that God is our Father. Um, and that his name is holy. 
And then we go on to say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Help us to do things here on earth the way they're done in heaven. Help us to do the right things. Help us to be kind and loving. Okay? Give us this day our daily bread. We're asking for something for ourselves, but we are asking for what we need. We need to eat every day. So we're asking God, please make sure you know, that, that we have enough food for the day. Not for the year, not for, you know, the next six months, but for today. Every day, somehow God will provide for us. So we're asking, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, and we will forgive people who sin against us. So we're asking God to forgive us, okay? And then we're saying, just like we were told in a couple of weeks ago, that love thy enemy thing, which is so tough to do, but when people do bad things to us, we will forgive them. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And it's like, God, help us to do the right things. Help us not to do bad things. And also, keep us safe. Help, please keep us safe. And we end by saying, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. We are saying hallelujah. We are acknowledging that God is the Almighty and that we love Him. So that's the prayer. And Jesus, and Jesus was the one who was our guide and gave us that prayer. Our lessons for this week um, had a really interesting um, acronym. And I know that's a pretty big word. Um, for the word pray and basically what it means is that you take the word pray which is spelled p-r-a-y okay and i've got this double printed it's double sided so forgive me we're going to start with p and for p it says pray for other people you don't always need to ask a God for a lot of things for yourself. You know, he'll provide for us, but pray for other people. Maybe someone you know is sick or hungry or very sad, and you want to ask God for him to help them. The R says, remember and be thankful. Remember all the good things that God has already done for you all the good things that you already have maybe a good family a good, you know a great family a good home um, lots of food on your table be thankful for that thank God and tell him how much you appreciate that a is ask for what you want okay now we go back to I did that all backwards didn't I Ask for what you need. <laughs> okay. um, you know, and again, we go back to there are things that you need in life. We all need water and food. You know, we need a place to stay out of the wind and snow and rain and whatever. And then again, there are lots of things that we want. You know, maybe it's a big fancy house or a lot of money or a new video game that's what we want it's not what we need so it says ask for what you need and finally the why is say yes to the things that God wants you to do sometimes things come up and you know that they're the you know you have a chance to maybe help somebody or you know do something good and you know that that is something that God would want say yes say yes and do the things that God would want okay so did Jesus when he was on the 
you know, talking to the disciples and the people, say, you know, when they said, teach us how to pray, saying, don't worry about it, I'll pray for you. No. He guided us. He gave us guidance. All those words are related to our key word of guide. And Jesus was our guide to teaching us how we could pray for ourselves. Have a great week. We will see you later. Um, hopefully we won't get a lot more snow because I think I've gotten about as much as I can handle for this year. But if it comes, we'll deal with it. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you, Miss Gail. That was beautiful. And now let's hear some scriptures from Miss Jane. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying that big snow that we had this week. As we heard earlier, our faith word for the month of February is guide, or showing the way. In our scripture reading for today from the New International Version Bible, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 5 through 15, Jesus gives the disciples a guide of how to pray using the Lord's Prayer. We often pray the Lord's Prayer, and we can use it as our guide when we pray our prayers. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. For your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for if you forgive other people when they sin against you your father your heavenly father will get also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their sins your father will not forgive your sins we will have a new story next week so stay tuned, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miss Jane. That was wonderful. And I have added a coloring page all about the Lord's Prayer uh, for you to print out and color at home with your crayons, coloring markers, coloring pencils, anything you have to bring that picture to life. And that wraps up our lesson. I hope you have a happy and wonderful week. Welcome to the month of February, and we'll see you next week for a brand new story. Bye-bye, everybody. Stay well.